Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back! Octopath Traveler, where apparently there's like a cloud overhead? I'm guessing that's why it's so dark? Yeah, it's moving. It's a cloud. Anyway. But anyway, welcome back to Octopath Traveler, where we're in Goldshore. That's right, I had business here. Uh, we're here for Alfin, actually. Your travels have brought you to Goldshore, where fever is running rampant. You roll up your sleeve and begin to get to work. So there's a fever. And from Saintsbridge, you had to Goldshore to perform the kindling once more. There you encounter a familiar face. Our sister? Question mark? Uh, but for now, we can just talk to people. Welcome to Goldshore, the town by the sea. We hope you enjoy your stay. This town is known for its pristine beaches. You should see them for yourself if you have a spare moment. I mean, yeah. It's also got beaches with a lot of animals who want to kill you. Also, I don't have to go get Cyrus, because I have Alfin. An elderly man who lives with his wife. In their youth, they feared they would never be blessed with a child, and though one was eventually born to them, he died in an accident at sea. Well, that sucks. Despite their best efforts, they never had another, and have since taken to looking after the children of, their town, of the town as their own. Oh. It's a bad time, dude, but she uh, showed me where a midden... A hidden item is. My caravan was set upon by bandits. They took everything. If I don't find a safer route to travel than that blasted high road, they're going to put me out of business. Yo. A merchant who mainly operates in the coastlands. He worries about everything from his future to the weather, leaving him little time to concentrate on his stock and trade. Hey, you guys got anything? Uh, not really. Uh, I'm, I should be fine on plums. You don't even have medium-sized plums. All right, hello. Fisherman, sweetheart. My fellow found this huge egg and has been taking care of it ever since. He's a fisherman. What does he even know of eggs? He said he found it in the depths of the place they call Captain's Bane. I wonder what it might hatch into. Is this, like, relevant to the girl who has a dragon egg? That was a... Am I, is my volume louder than normal? That was a loud opening for a door. We haven't been stealing from people, by the way. <laughs> I just forgot about it. What's this? All right, sure. Oh, that seems pretty good. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He found an egg. I forgot it. I can steal from people, and I'm supposed to do that. Dragon's vest is really nice, but uh, how much will you sell it for? 41,000. No, I have almost 200,000. Thanks, my dude. <laughs> uh, you, I got a helmet recently. I like the SP boost. You also like SP boost, but you like the elemental attack. You want the increased speed because you're ultimate. I guess I'll give it to you. Sure. What are you using, uh, Hannet? You're using this. Well, it's better than the starlight hat I have. Right. Well, to the beach. They said something's going on down here. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh, I had a name for myself once. I was a mercenary who brought down a whole company all on his own. He's a crest-bearing ruffian. He's one of the people who has the crests, I think. A rowdy brute who resorts to violence when he fails to get what he wants. Owing to his experience as a mercenary, he is not a man to be trifled with. He has been seen fiddling with a small golden medal from time to time. So if I beat him up... Uh, well, first off, I'll steal his... <laughs> I'll steal his stuff wasn't I'm gonna go get Olber. I can come back here and fight you. Where's he in? Oh, it's already here. I think Olberek's a decently high Oh, hello, Hannet. Lynn and I are ever ready. Oh, you don't have anything for me? Olberek's level 19. That's not actually that high of a level, so I'll grab Hannet then. She has creatures, I think. Yeah, I hope that's enough. I also just want to see how strong this guy is before I fight him. And if he's too strong for either Hanit or Olberek. Ah, uh, six. Is... Sure, I'll try it. I might just run out of... I should have healed. I forgot to heal. Okay, you're weak to, ha to your uh, Lin, not Hanit. Don't, don't beat me up, please. So this guy's going to go for a double attack. So just use a 
healing great medium. And then after a second attack, I guess I can use a healing grape big medium, I guess. Perfect. Now I'm full health. And then I should get two attacks in. Or not, apparently. Sounds... Alright, Lin should break you. And now... I can use, um... Last little bit of the Rat King. Darn. You didn't die. I was really hoping for that to kill you. Uh, sure. I think I'll be fine. I think I can take this guy on. Even though I don't have that many uh, beasts left, the healing items will do it. In combination with the... like, He's not hitting that hard, too. Okay. I wonder if... Uh, Olberek, that's his name. Yeah, Olberek. I wonder if Olberek could have taken this guy. Maybe. Uh, sure, I'll use one boost to break you. Oh no, it didn't actually... Okay. Sure. I could risk my life here. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna do it. Oh, thank you. It's enough. All right. And that's some good experience for Hanit, who... All right. I got a mercenary crest. You've got to be kidding me. So if I go to the guy... I think it was up in... Noble Court, I want to say... Will he, like, do anything now for one? I believe he said there were three. But I think... Also, that guy over there. I still need to find out... I need to look up what he wants. Or find out what he, to do with him. Hello. Three of the men betrayed you. Yeah, and they sell the crest. All right, so you don't care. I have one. You want me to grab all of them first, I guess. All right, well, to gold show I go. I love the, like, sound effects of the water. I might as well heal up while I'm here. You know what? I don't need to. I mean, I do, but... I can do that for Hannah, and I'll heal up when I grab Alfin. Alright, Alfin. Oh, there's a chest in here, by the way. I didn't notice that. Well, oh, Alfin, you're, uh, you're already higher level than everyone else. Well, everyone else that's here in the tavern. What you got for me? Healing grape? Aw. Kind of wish it was a grape. All right, so I'm assuming that's the chapel back there. That I have to go for, uh, what's her face? Ophelia. A Thunder Soulstone Large. What do you want? Some years back now, our ship went down in a bad spot of weather. Most of the crew washed up eventually, but no one ever saw the captain again. The rest of the crew gave up long ago, and everyone went their separate ways in the end. But I haven't stopped believing that the captain is still alive out there somewhere. A great man he was. You'd know him anywhere by his long beard. Should you ever see a man in your travels, I'd be mighty pleased if you could bring him here. So you want me to find a guy with a long beard? That's all you gave me. Okay, he's a sailor who once sailed on the Blue Wave. I assume that's the ship's name. Proud of his seafaring days, he hopes to return to that great and glorious expanse again. Now, how am I going to find his captain? That's the thing. Is this guy still here? No, he's gone. The thing I stole from him. Oh, uh, actually, while I... I got a... Thing. I got a cleaver. Alright, well, my axe users... Don't care about that. All my axe users already have an axe perfectly for them. Like, excuse me. Hello. Outside of town to the southwest is a cave near the shore. I hear it's awfully pretty. Well, if... You must be level 30 or higher. Why such a high level, dude? Okay, well, that's if I want to chat with her. What if I inquire or whatever it is Cyrus does? Is it also level 30? Scrutinize. No, I can scrutinize her. I can just scrutinize her. All right. A trader born to a modest family that has called this town home for generations. 
She has despised the nobility ever since one of them treated her mother cruelly. Her fiancé serves a wealthy house, however, and so she tries her best to conceal her disgust. No. Oh. Well. I mean, like, he's already out, so I... Might as well, like, keep Cyrus here for a bit as I see this item. What is it? Healing Grape Bunch. I'm pretty sure that's the grapes that heal everyone. The girlfriend of an inexperienced fish. Did I not scrutinize you or whatever it is? Or is it different? Hold on. Though they care deeply for one another, she has somewhat grown tired of his habit of bringing home everything that the sea deigns to deliver to him. I know I've inquired of you. Okay, so I just forgot to with you. How about you? Okay, I haven't forgotten you either. It's not inquire. What is it called that Alfin does? It's scrutinized for Cyrus. What does Alfin do? I forgot. Let me see. First off, oh. talk to me. They say there's a cave not far east of here and that is Phil and that of... Ah. Let's try that again. They say there's a cave not far east of here that is filled with glowing moss and some particularly nasty inhabitants if the rumors are true. I mean, what cave is it? It is Inquire. Ooh, this counts. A man who spent his days staring at the sea. Employed by aristocrats to manage a local inn, he grew dissatisfied with his lot after a few months and began to neglect his duties Recently, however, he has started to load the layabout he has become. Well, thanks for the discount. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna take them. So thank you. And I can't go here. That's where, uh, probably Alfin will go. Alright, hello. Ah. Just ahead up in the hills is the manor district. Beyond that, you'll find the cathedral. Oh, that's another area besides just the church. An elderly lady who collects things that wash ashore. The current carries many curious items to the rocks beneath the bridge, and so she can often be found there. Less a hobby and more an obsession, she has scavenged for valuables every day for many, many years. Cool, you got anything for me? Back down at the beach, huh? Apparently I can't steal from- Oh, it's one of the forbidden items. I mean, those things are so ex Oh, hey, it's over here. Those things are so expensive, but I kind of want to find that forbidden staff wherever it is. I think it's on a priest. I can't go here either? All right, well, I guess I'll go to the manor district or whatever it's called, where all the rich people are. Yeah, this is the manor district. Hello. I'll talk to you later. Hello. I'm a trader of stone and rock. Can I be of service to ye? This here whetstone. Ooh, it's a wool. Yes. Someone wants a whetstone. This man f molded the finest metals into exquisite weapons coveted by all until one day... He had an epiphany that every piece was akin to a living, breathing being, and that such creations were deserving of constant care. Thereafter, he devoted himself instead to the preservation of these works of art. Cool, dude. Let me steal that stone from you. Excuse me. How much will you sell it to me for? No way. 11,000. I'll steal it for 65% chance. All right, Therian. Don't fail too hard. Thank you. Good job, Therian. You guys got anything in here? Uh, you got lance, a lance, and a bunch of axes. Ooh, this axe is actually kind of nice. Uh, this thing is pretty nice, too. It increases my physical or my elemental attack, which is what I care about, by a lot. How's the lance look? Ooh, it's actually kind of nice, too. Any cool shields? Uh, eh. Eh. How about this? Oh, Saint Starlight Hat. That's the thing I stole. Saintly Tiara. Don't I have one of those? Or a few of those? Elemental Robe. Uh, it gives less elemental attack. SP plus 30, huh? Alright, so I'll buy this. And I'll give it to Ophelia. It's just better than everything. It even gives evasion, too. What is she using? Or was using, I guess. I guess I'll sell this quartz rod. And... That's equipped on someone. Probably Cyrus. And I'll sell this. And I'll have to move the, uh... The psychic staff probably over to Cyrus. Because I care more about elemental attack than anything, in all honesty. Alright, I'll sell this stone bow. No one's going to use it. 
And I guess I can sell these battle axes and this cleaver. I'm going to keep the arcane hatchet. No. Hmm. Just in case, like, I don't know, someone's a spell casting class that can equip an axe. Also, I had that stone. I believe it was in Mining Town, Query Crest. Will Cyrus say anything? He's not in my party right now, is he? I think Alvin is. Oh, travel banter. Hold on. Oh, Alvin up? wants to talk. Oh, shucks. Ain't that nice. Nice? What's nice? Making a new pal like that. Pal, surely you're not talking about Ali, my arch rival. Who else would I be talking about? Sure you don't see eye to eye about everything. Here he goes. <laughs> oh, jeez. And you got off on the wrong foot with a little spat. I get it. But you both eat from the same bowl, and all an ill fortune that hurts one of you hurts the other. If that's not a foundation for friendship, I don't know what is. Yeah, that's pretty much my response, too, Tressa. A promise to a true friend is as important as life itself. Remember that, Tress. Yeah, I'll try not to forget. Yeah, the sure thing, Alfin. Whatever you say. I think the guy who wants, uh, he was like, my pickaxe can't break anything or something was over here. He's like back on the cliff side or something, I think. Well, there is a side quest here. I think he was up here. And he's like, I can't do anything with this pickaxe. Oh, God's teeth. I'm trying to dig through. Yep, it's his pickaxe. Here's your whetstone. You better give me something good, dude. Give me like 12,000. Oh, is that a whetstone and you brought it for me? Okay. Well, I thank you for your kindness, but no whetstone can sharpen this pick. Well, why not? Look, I'll show you. I grind and grind and grind, and then, well, it's gonna work. It's a good whetstone, my dude. Pods and pea pods. What is that, swear? Alright, this is no ordinary whetstone. It's actually sharpening the stubborn pick. So give me something, my dude. Look at that shiny edge. You can keep it. I don't need it. Sharp as a dagger, that is, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yes. I won't be stopped by mere rock no more, let me tell ye. Not with this whetstone in my pocket. Thank ye, kind traveler. Thanks be to ye. So what do you give me? 9,000, a sharp nut, and a critical nut. Okay. Do you still have anything to say? Ho ho, with my new sharpened pick I warned I could dig through the bottom of the world. It's all thanks to that whetstone. How about I steal from you? Oh, this, you had, like, you're the one who I felt pity for. I was like, this guy has nothing. I'm not going to steal from him. All right, send me back. But yeah, I remember this guy. He had nothing. Well, uh, this is the guy down there who wants to find his captain, and I have no idea how I'll find that. Maybe he's in the manor district. Who knows? There's so many people here. Hello. Let me yeah. talk to you. South of here is the commerce district. We've got an inn, a tavern, whatever you like. I'll have to go get Cyrus for you, I guess. Literally nothing in there. Probably a hidden item. And there's a classy person in here. The prosperity of this town is due entirely to the sacred flame. Cool, dude. A finely dressed man. He has an eye for the ladies, particularly those who come from foreign lands, and never passes up an opportunity to converse with them. His incorrigible pleasures recently led to his third divorce. Third of Wait, how old were you again? Three divorces at the age of 32, huh? Man, that's pretty impressive, dude. Uh, thank you, thank you. Max HP plus 500. Thank you. Does anyone want that, actually? I just stole it. Without even thinking if anyone wants it. Like, HP, though. I don't know, like... I don't think so. I have two of them, even. I don't really care. I'd rather have more offense than defense, in all honesty. Okay, this place is kind of huge. What's this chest? 4,500 wing wings. What do you have to say? What do you want? Sorry, there's nothing here for you. I'm telling you the truth. What, you don't believe me? So, I'll go to... Oh, hey, there's another chest here. Uh, excuse me. An herb of clamor. Nothing in here. Probably a hidden item then. And this is the chapel, and there's nothing here. I'm surprised I could go in the chapel. 
All right. It's like every other chapel we've been into probably has items in it, like I said. Inspiring plum basket. Thank you. They always hide, like, chests behind pillars, as I, can, as I was about to say. Uh, nothing's in here. Don't mind me, just the heroes of the place just going around looking for treasure chests that, you know, as heroes, we have all right to steal from you guys. Don't mind us. All right, I'm going to need to go grab us. Excuse me. I'm going to go first off. I'll beat that guy up in front of the uh, door who's blocking that building after I've spoken to everyone else, just in case there's a hidden item in there. But first off, I need to go grab a Cyrus. Because it seems like Cyrus and Alfin have a... Cyrus can interrogate people who Alfin can't, or else Alfin's level is too low. Uh, Cyrus, please. Hold on. Excuse me. Thank you. Actually. This seems like a good area, actually, or a good time to save and quit. I got, like, this little thing right here. I wonder where they're... they're I'm probably going to have to go into that cave or down here. I don't know. I'm here for Alfin's thing, so I'm probably going to go onto this, like, peninsula. Or maybe it is to the cave. I don't know. The peninsula might be for Ophelia. Who knows? Uh, but yeah. Uh, in the second... The second? In the next episode. There we go. That's... I can word. I can word properly. Yes. In the next episode, uh, we're going to go... Well, we can't go over there. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to, uh... Continue exploring the town. And, uh... We're going to start up... Alfin's thing? Is that a chest back there? Hold on. Hey, it was a chest. <laughs> nice. But yeah, uh, we're going to start up Alfin's thing in the next episode. Maybe. Maybe. It's going to depend on how much of stuff there is to do around the town. And like, there's a couple of side quests there too. So maybe if I can do the side quest, who knows? But we're going to finish exploring the town at the very least. And maybe, most likely, probably start off Alphans Quest. But uh, that's going to be it for today's episode of Octopath Traveler. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And if you guys want to keep up with the series, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to catch more of me, you can go and check me out on Twitch TV. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching this episode. Until I see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye!